actually with the with, when I came up with that melody, uh, it, it sort of maybe has a little hint to Iron Maiden, but it's funny because I don't have any Iron Maiden <laughs> album in my uh, collection. But it, it's um, I don't know. It, it, it sounds a little bit like uh, like it could be played in a big stadium. Hopefully, it will happen one day. But it's I think it's a catchy tune and uh, it's got some nice double kicks and. Nice dynamics, and I do like Iron Maiden, and I can <laughs> hear the Iron Maiden link, even though he doesn't, is uh, not into Iron Maiden himself. No, I think what? that's a great dedication to the heroes of metal. <laughs> well, hey, Iron Maiden. <laughs> It was a pretty cool uh, song also in the pre-production, also during rehearsal, it's, it's got a pretty cool flow into it. One of my favorite songs written by uh, Arjen. I, I love the choirs, I love the majestic feel of it. Some With certain songs there are just melodies that really grasp me and that's one of those songs. And the lyrics are basically about nightmares, depicting nightmares. And since I have a lot of them, I also draw inspiration out of them because I, I like to analyze my dreams, whether it's nightmares or happy dreams about Brad Pitt, but I don't get those often, more get the nightmares, so I draw inspiration out of them. Right. Yeah, Wheel of Destiny is dealing about journalists who are writing uh, about the, the truth. Uh, as there's a lot of nonsense going around, but there's a few great journalists who dare to speak about the, the, the truth. And I think that these guys are heroes and uh, I dedicated this song to them because they are risking their lives. It's a wheel of destiny, and uh, well, that pretty much is a, another not, not a, a basic song, you know, not not very long. Uh, it has some thrashy, uh, a thrashy intro, which always comes back, and uh, some technical riffing. So it's obviously written uh, on a guitar, maybe as Kuhn says, a typical Isaac song. I don't know, but. Um, I like to blend all those ideas yeah. together and I always make the major chord harmonies. Oh, I love major. <laughs> I'm such a happy boy. And then we added some extra flavor to your guitar, so we added some key solo. Who? Remember? No, I, I, no? I, <laughs> that's true. I, tr I tried to delete that. <laughs> that uh, Joost van der Broek, our producer, he, uh, he came to visit me in, uh, in Reuver and we sat down in, uh, in my home studio and we discussed uh, shall we work on a, on a track that, uh, that we have already or, or shall we do something completely new and I thought that day let's try something completely new and uh, we started uh, Working uh, because we, we thought we did we didn't have something like a ballad yet, which is guitar oriented. Later on, the, there were some versions also with piano, but we started as a, a, as a guitar ballad, and we wrote it basically in one afternoon. Uh, uh, we as soon as we had the vibe, we it it really yeah was like about two and a half hours when we had the, the setup of the song, and then uh, one more afternoon we worked on the on the, the, the orchestration of the, of the track and that was basically it and uh, later on we, we worked together with Sasha Pitt on the, the vocal lines but uh, as soon as the, the, the vibe was good the, the, it happened really fast and some, with some tracks it, uh, it happens to be that it, it's, it's almost writing itself it, it feels so natural and with some tracks you keep experimenting, keep, keep trying It's, it's a very distinctive song, I think it's something we haven't done before and um, the lyrics are very sad because it's about a story of two uh, lovers 
friends of actually a family member of mine that were both terminally ill and they wanted to die together instead of one being left behind and uh, as dark as it may sound I also thought it was very beautiful you know that love goes so deep and that uh, really got to me and um, I wanted to write a song about it.